Wallaby is an integrated continuous testing tool for JavaScript that continuously runs your tests. It reports code coverage and other results directly to your code editor, immediately as you change your code. Wallaby is really fast because it only executes tests affected by your code changes and runs your tests in parallel. The tool is great if you are doing tests driven development or behavior driven development. It is not free, but you can use it in a trial mode to try it out. To use Wallaby, you can install it to your IDE as a plugin. We will install it in Visual Studio Code. So let's go under the extensions tab and search for Wallaby.js. Install it and reload the window. Once installed, Wallaby will install the core and you can use a number of commands using the Ctrl, Shift and Equals command. You can also find the commands with Ctrl, Shift, P and search for Wallaby. Let's start it by calling the start command. Select to try out with the trial or enter your license key. We will use Wallaby in our Angular CLI generated project. So open command line and create new project with ng new ng2 Wallaby. If you don't have Angular CLI installed, please watch first videos of Tour of Heroes series on my YouTube channel, where I show you how to get started. Once our project is scaffolded, cd to the folder. Since Angular CLI uses Webpack, let's install Wallaby-Webpack via npm. Also install Angular 2 template loader, which Wallaby uses to inline all HTML and styles in Angular 2 components. To use Wallaby with Angular CLI project, just add the Wallaby config file, wallaby.js, to the root of the generated project. You can find the file here in the ng-cli webpack sample repo on GitHub. Second, add Wallaby test bootstrap file which is called wallabytest.ts to the source folder of the project. Let's start our Wallaby plugin again by hitting Ctrl Shift plus P and clicking on the Wallaby start command. It can take a minute and once it's done, you should see a passing and failing test icons in the bottom right toolbar. Navigate to source app app component spec ts file and you can see our three pre-created tests all passing. The second test expects the title to equal app works. Let's open app component ts on the side and change this title variable. So let's wait a while till the Wallaby gets our changes and you should see the failing tests on the left. So the Wallaby will inline display that our uh, expected value is not equal app works. So let's go and change the title back to the app works. Save it and the Wallaby will pick the changes and display all the passing tests. Like this. Now go and write your tests. <laughs> 